Hello guys, so today I am going to be talking about the physical, okay? And I'm going to tell you why I'm calling it the physical because I've been asked a load of questions from kissing on the first date to, to touching on the first date to virginity, celibacy, and sex. Now, I do have a great informative video called sex 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 straight to the point how, just how i like it right now if you scroll down in my videos or just search sex 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 abm talk you know um right on youtube and i promise you, you get straight to the point you're gonna like it so today we're going to talk about the physical though so one of the things that somebody asked me was is kissing okay on the first date now for me <laughs> I'm not a big kisser. I can honestly tell you there's been not that many guys that I've actually kissed on the first date or second date. You know, I just feel like the guy has to set it up for it to be the right moment. And I'm not, I'm just not trying to be all up in nobody's face smelling nobody's stink ass breath. For real. That's for real. But <laughs> honestly, I am not like that big on trying to make a kiss happen on a date. It's just weird for me honestly like uh i've had the ones that i ended up actually kissing they set it up perfectly you know it was a perfect moment uh the last one that i had we were um he had just took me to a rooftop uh we had some drinks after we had like dinner or was it like it was like a late lunch and uh sushi and stuff and he, it was just it was just perfect his his charm was perfect the way he went about it was perfect and I was honestly I was surprised because that is like really hard to get out of me so it has to be perfect um let me think so I'm not against it especially if the, the moment is right but I don't think it's a determining factor for anything like uh, if somebody wants to get serious with you or even if they want to uh, have sex with you I don't feel like any of that is determined based off of a kiss I feel like it's just a kiss you know it's just like it's it's good if you can make the perfect moment to get it out of the way sooner you know fill out your chemistry a little bit especially if you had a great night or a great few nights together or whatever so it has to be the right moment now physical touch okay so just like I said on live these dudes don't be washing their hands for real they don't be washing their hands enough for me and they don't wash their hands enough to protect the world okay i'm not be gonna be touching all over you you touching all over me and i come back home with anthrax or the swine flu it's just not gonna work it's not gonna work so yeah i'm not doing that um and i'm not a touchy touchy feely feely person anyway because i feel like that's being a little bit too forward and too aggressive without them even catching a check first. I don't even know if they want to, uh, well, I know they're going to catch a tab, but I don't know if they're going to try to create a problem about it or something. So I need to make sure that they're doing the most to impress me before I give them the go and make them feel like they have impressed me already. That's like too much rewarding too soon for me. So I don't do that. Um... <laughs> Plus, you can just have natural, light conversations about everything without being too touchy-feely on the first date, you know, or this, even the second date. Um, so, that's that's how I feel about the touch touching thing. Now, sex. Sex should be at a time where you feel like this is somebody you have strong chemistry with. Because I know we all, we're all in the middle of, midst of speed dating, dating culture, where everybody's meeting up, going on dates for like an an hour or something and making their decisions so you have to make sure that you actually have chemistry with this person don't just do it because oh this is our second date and it's supposed to be going this way or this is our third date and it's supposed to be going this way oh he spent this amount of money on me so it's supposed to be going this way and this is especially for hood girls that grew up like me i did not do that i'm telling you I did not do that. You inviting me out to this place that I probably couldn't even pronounce from where I was from. And I was not about to give it up because you invited me to this nice place. That was just not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. You know, it's not. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Now take me back to my hood. Okay. My mom 
is waiting for me. <laughs> so that was uh, that's how I felt about that. So and and it never it never became a part a problem for me. I think people could just tell in my body language that I wasn't one to be played with. So thank God for that. So yeah, um, sex is something you make a decision based upon if you have the right chemistry with that person. They invested a lot of effort and time into you. That's what I make my decisions. If I wasn't a gen, uh, 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 genitalist virgin, you know, that is devout to dying a virgin queen, okay, I would not share until, I would not pray with them until, it, until I seen enough effort. And effort involves them being timely, being respectful, being, you know, courteous and polite, like opening the doors, pulling out my chairs, all the little stuff that I like, all the little picky stuff that I'm very judgmental about. Opening the right doors, pulling out my chairs, trying to pull in my chairs. It's, I, I'm telling you, they be trying to do it, and I'm not no light girl. They be, they be working. Um, I had one guy even carry a table uh, to me because I wanted to sit in a certain place so <laughs> they will do it you know they'll get it done so it's about courte if they're courteous dressed well put in effort multiple times you know these are things that turn me on this is not even this is not even me trying to be a hard ass like I don't get I'm not turned on by some lackluster no good no effort type of guy like that just talk and text and all of that none of that stuff is attractive to me it's like, honestly, if this is all you have, I can find this like literally a million other places. Why would I be exclusively dealing with you for literally nothing? You know, so that's just how I feel about it. Like going to nice places, um, whether it's restaurants, trips, or getting nice things and everything, this is a part of what is attractive to me. This is not me, oh, I'm trying to be the bossiest bitch of of the north like no no like these are the things that turn me on and um recognizing that is just you trying to create a chemistry with me and making sure that i feel loved enough to want to share that experience with you and that's how i was always taught and raised and that's what i still believe you know like if you're sitting here, I, I don't know how these girls be having sex with guys that don't talk to them and ignore their messages and don't take them nowhere because none of that is attractive to me. That is hell. None of that is attractive to me. What, what effort is there? How is he being courteous? What is the sweetness? You know, I'm a Cancer Sun, Cancer Venus. I need all the love and affection, okay? With the Aries rising, I need all of it. And I need to be out there. I don't need no uh, lackluster nothing. I don't go off the vibes. Like, the vibes don't get me in the bed with you. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I need to see effort. I need to see courteousness. I need to see that you're polite. I need to see all of that in order for me to be honestly, like, wanting to do that. For me to be like, hmm, okay. You know, this is, uh, <laughs> I might have to... <laughs> to crack open the bible for you you know so that's what i make my decisions on the physical about and you know you guys can comment like share and subscribe hit me up on instagram i'm always doing lives for you guys and if i can save them i always try to put them up on here and um yeah on actual black mermaid on instagram Twitter at Imani underscore Yvonne 2. You just DM me there for a session and tell me that you want a session. Sessions are $95 and I go into detail about what we cover in those sessions. So yeah, thank you guys again for choosing my message and I will be talking to you guys soon. Thank you.